Um. Oh, there she is. As you guys can just see, we went all the way up here while all of our cards are still lacking. What is up, guys? Spacing here, bringing you part five of That's Epic. So, this is going to be the last of our five characters that make the That's Epic list. So, we're going to do something different today. This is probably a card you guys did not expect. You were probably expecting OK or Bot Mama, but we're going to do Amelia. Amelia is underrated and underappreciated in the frag game. And I'm going to show you why and talk to you guys over a couple of matches. So, here we go. So first of all with Amelia, she has a lot of mobility due to her grapple hook and she can get to places extremely quickly. The other thing with Amelia though, headshot damage. She does not have the spread of a burst character like JB. It's very, very precise and very, very effective. I will show you guys what I mean here. Hopefully it's a real player. If it's a bot, I'm sorry. I've been getting a lot of bots lately. I don't know if it has something to do with the update or if it's something else entirely. So we're just going to kind of hop in here and hope we get a real player. If we get a bot, the next round we'll play for a real player. So things with Amelia to remember. First off the rip, we're going to play her. So she is not very fast. Um, this is the one thing that holds this card back from being like really good. But as you can see, her fire rate is really good. And her damage is solid too. Each and like I said, due to the lack of a spread like other characters have. Really, that thing. So as you guys can see here, we're putting bullets on target at all ranges. And this is one of those things where effective bullets on target are a good thing. Constant damage output. Now, with that being said, stop with the stupid level 12. <laughs> Soldier Tron right there just screwed me. But that's okay. Soldier Tron has an exceptional AI as we guys went over in a previous video. Well, not the previous one, two videos ago now. About to say, I know I hit that. We're going to go back and get Amelia back here in just a sec. Don't like that shield placement. But things with Amelia I like to keep in mind she has a large clip and she is constantly able to put damage. She has a lot of range. Um, not a lot of cards can match Amelia's range. She's kind of a, can be treated almost as a pseudo sniper in that regard. It's like you have, uh, just for instance, you have a virus way over there. We can put shots on target down there very effectively due to the way her gun works. Dude, this Soldier Tron never misses. As you guys can see here, putting bullets on the head. 21, I mean, if you hit three headshots, that's 60, uh, 60, uh, sorry, um, 63 to 66 damage. That is nothing to scoff at. As you guys can see here, effective fire on target always leads to win. Now, the other thing to note with Amelia, her damage isn't bad. I mean, as you guys can see, we're kind of melting that tower. Now, here's the fun thing with Amelia. If you can learn to hit the grapple, which of course I'm not able to do all of a sudden, you're able to get to places very, very quickly. The mobility of that is extremely good, as is the range. Um, it's something to kind of keep in the back of your head. Now, with that being said, Amelia is really a, a very good card who just needs some minor tweaks to make it absolutely... like I'd put her in meta talks if they made some minor tweaks to her. And if you guys haven't played her enough to see that, then I would recommend you take a look at her. Um, with that being said, right now... She's probably only going to be effective to Arena 8, Arena 9, because the Arena 10 players are running meta lineups. It's, it's the same lineup every game. Uh, but in Arena 8 and 9, you can get away with having a wild card like an Amelia in your lineup. But that doesn't make the card any less epic. If my connecting to server thing ever goes away here, we'll get into another match. <laughs> he said, I've been having a lot of problems with getting only bots lately. Um, it makes making a video very, very difficult. There's a real one. Okay. So let's grab Amelia, and let's have some fun. Now, we're going to show you how I would play her during a match. We went over the small hitbox. She's a bit slow, but she's still effective, and she has a lot of range. 
That Hades hits so much harder than me, though, it's not even funny. Get rid of that card, get rid of that card. Now, let's get some Amelia going. Now that his entire lineup is off the field. <laughs> Alright, so, we got Amelia now. So, the things to keep in mind when you play this card, if you play this card in a match... Remember to use the grapple. It has a lot of range and gives you the ability to cover ground exceptionally fast. It makes it very, very effective and efficient. Remember to kind of go to these towers. So the one thing you want to do with these towers is you kind of want to kite between them. I don't know. I don't think this guy's getting respawns. Um, oh, there she is. As you guys can just see, we went all the way up here while all of our cards are still lackadaisically moving around down there. So if you use the grapple hook and you time it right, you're able to get out of pretty much any situation you choose to with Amelia. And it makes it incredibly valuable. We're going to fall down here. All the way back up. Unfortunately, I missed the grapple just a little bit. My phone is dying. We're going to get some more frags on target here. Nice little frags. <laughs> It's that simple, guys. Just use the grapple hook, learn to time it, and hit your headshots. As you guys saw, 21 to 22 on the head is nothing to scoff at. That is a good hit. Like, that's 66 damage if, you can, if you're accurate. But this card can be played by everybody, so it makes it very user-friendly. And that is why she is included in the That's Epic list. I want to show you guys a couple things with her statistics real quick. Um, just so you guys can kind of get a feel for what I am talking about. So the things I emphasize with her, not very fast. That's her only downside. But look at the weapon range. 60 meters. That's 15 meters farther than Andromeda. That's the same distance as Crystal, who you guys know I absolutely love. I'll show you Virus just for an example purpose. Virus only has a 70 meter range. So she's able to combat even the snipers at the right range. Now, you do have to learn to develop a good strafe pattern. Um, but, you know... As I said, same as Crystal. Um, you kind of have to learn to develop a good strafe pattern to make it work effectively. But she is a good card that can be used by anybody, and she's easy to obtain. That is why she is epic, and I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this series. Uh, we will be moving on to the Legendary shortly. But my top five for That's Epic are as followed. We have Lucha, Soldier Tron, General Mech, Quarterback, and and Amelia. I will see you legends in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down there. I truly appreciate all y'all's support and we'll have